Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, before we begin, just want to say a big thank you to Bristol Myers Squibb for their generous donation and sponsorship of this yoga class. Okay, so let's begin. And I know you know the routine, but again, just in case somebody watches a video later on for the first time, we can use a pillow if you like and place it at the lumbar spine, the lower back. You don't have to, you just want to be comfortable, but you know, it can be a little more support for people. You do want your feet to be supported. If they don't reach the floor, you know, we're at home. You can put a couple books under your feet, feet or hip distance apart. If you have a block or maybe a footstool, have it handy. We may use it. We may not. Spine is lifted. Shoulders relaxed. Chin is parallel with the floor. I like to start with the breath. Okay. Very important thing to learn how to breathe deeply for good health. If you already know how to breathe deeply, just have your hands in any mudra. Mudras means placements, maybe left hand on top of right, thumbs touching. I just find this very comfortable, but up to you. If you're still learning the three-part complete yogic diaphragmatic breath, we lightly place our hands on the belly, below the belly button, and we're not pressing. We're just feeling the movement of the breath in the body. Eyes opened or closed, up to you. I like to close my eyes here. We're going within. Take a deep breath, inhale, belly rises. And exhale, belly descends. Just feeling the movement of the breath in the body. Begin to slow down the breathing. Inhale, belly rises, deep breath. And exhaling. Belly descends, slow, deep, rhythmic breaths. Again, inhaling, belly rises, follow your own pace. And exhaling, belly descends. This is also called belly breathing. Keep one hand there. Place your other hand on the ribs. With your next inhalation, belly and ribs rise, deep breath. And as we exhale, belly and ribs descend, centering, quieting down, going within. Again, inhaling, belly and ribs rise. And exhaling, belly and ribs descend. Take the hand that's on the belly, place on the breastbone over your heart. With your next inhalation, belly, ribs, and chest rise. And as we exhale, belly, ribs, and chest descend, calming the nervous system, reducing blood pressure, massaging the heart. Relax your arms down, also breathe into the back, so directing the breath to the back of the lungs as well. So with your next inhalation, front sides and back of the lungs expand. And as we exhale, front sides and back of the lungs descend. No pranayama here, breath control now. Take a deep breath, keep taking in so much more air than you think you can. And as we exhale, begin to make the exhalations twice as long. Keep pushing the belly back toward the spine, get all that old air out. And again. And maybe setting an intention here, maybe be more peaceful, more present, loving, forgiving, whatever you choose. We're co-creators, helping to consciously create our world. Energy follows thought.
that spiritual practice is to be aware of our thinking. What are we creating? One more breath. Open the eyes, take a deep breath in, and exhale, tuck the chin in, feel a stretch behind the neck. Inhale, head comes up, nothing should hurt. Again, tuck the chin in. Inhale, head comes up. Again, tuck the chin in. Inhale, head comes up. Let's do one more, nourishing the neck, the cervical spine. And head comes back to center, deep breath in. And exhale, turn to the right. Center, turn to the left. Center, right again, your eyes are opened here. Center, and to the left, down this time. Let's tuck the chin in, bring it across the chest. Look up, it's a half circle. And again, stretching different muscles here. Let's do two more. One more. And face comes back to center, deep breath in. And exhale, right ear to right shoulder, keep your face forward, shoulders down, center. Left to left, just from the neck. Center, right to right. And left to left. Back to center. This next one might help if you scoot a little forward in your chair. Arms back, palms back. Inhale, shoulders up, back, and down. So we start with palms back, arms back. Inhale, up. Bring the shoulder blades in toward each other, back and down. Then we end up with palms forward. So start with palms back. Inhale up. Spread the collarbones wide to the side. Lower. One more. Palms back. Inhale up, back, and down. Okay, let's lean forward from the hip joint. Back is straight. One arm. Okay, for the rotator cough, as though the arm is moving through water. And reverse, just gently warming up here. Always a good idea. You don't want to pull anything. Okay, other arm. And reverse. Back to center. Let's lift the right shoulder up, forward and down. Then up, back and down. Same arm. Again, lift up, forward and down. Palm is back, up. Back and down, palm is forward. Two more. Up, forward and down. Up, back and down. One more. Up, forward and down. And up, back and down. Good. Other side. Up, forward and down. Up, back and down. So here we have an internal rotation of the humerus, upper arm, arm bone. And here we have an external rotation. Let's do two more. One more. And release. Okay, arms back, palms back, inhale, shoulders up, back, and down. Let's bring the back of the wrist in toward each other. Inhale, open. Now also strengthening the arms here as well as nourishing the shoulders, lift a little higher. Inhale, open. Lift a little higher. Here again is an internal rotation. Here's an external rotation. Now straight up. Keep your shoulders down. Back of the wrist touch. Lower. Doing fine. Little lower. Back of the wrist touch. Open. Little lower. Back of the wrist touch. Open. One more. Little lower. Back of the wrist touch. Open. Good. Shake your arms out. Palms back. Shoulders up back and down. Let's bring the right fingertips to the right shoulder. Elbow is forward. Inhale, lift that elbow up. Lower. Again, deep breath. Inhale, lift. Keep the shoulder down. Lower. Two more. One more. Elbow is straight forward. 
Good. Okay, other side. Fingertips to the shoulder. Lift. Shoulder high. Lower. So again, when we move the joints, we increase synovial fluid, which naturally lubricates the joints. One of the many, many reasons yoga is so beneficial. One more. Okay, other arm. Okay, so now it's up, back, and down. Same arm. Again, lift up, back, and down. Two more. Up, never forcing, nice and easy. Comfortable discomfort, that's the edge, no pain. Okay, good. Other side. Hips lift up, back, and down. Again, up, back, and down. Two more. Up, back, and down. One more. Lift up, back, and down. Now, fingertips to the shoulders, both arms. Let's just lift the elbows up, lower. Again, it's lift, lower. Now this next time, let's lift up, back, and down. Okay, hopefully it feels nice, great for posture. Again, up, back, and down. Now you can stay there, or if you wanna go deeper, try to bring the elbows touching up to you, back and down, okay? One more. All right, now let's stay here. Let's extend the arms, palms are up. Let's look toward the right hand for the neck. Look toward your left hand, faces forward, turn your palms back. Start lowering the arms, turn them forward. Keep lowering, turn them back, turn them forward, hands in prayer. Let's do that again. Inhale, stretch from the heart, turn towards your left hand, palms are up, turn towards your right hand. Okay, turn the palms back. Now this time, let's just keep pressing back. Start lowering the arms, press it back, press it back, press it all the way, press it back, and press it back. Good, shake your arms up, palms back, shoulders up, back, and down. All right, this next one, you will need to swing forward in your chair because we're going to tighten up the abdominals for a healthy lower back, and we're going to lean back. So up to you, you can cross your arms, place your hands on your shoulders. This one's a little easier, or extend your arms, interlace the fingers. We're working to keep our arms up here, so it's a little, little more challenging. Either one, take a deep breath in. Exhale, tighten up your abdominals, lean back. Inhale, come on up. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Belly button moves back toward the spine. Inhale, up. Okay, also tighten up the buttocks. Okay. Inhale up. Ladies, tighten up the pelvic floor to help prevent prolapsed uterus and prolapsed bladder. Keep those muscles strong. Inhale up. Let's do one more. Good. Shake your arms up. Palms, back, shoulders up, back, and down. Okay, let's go to the torso. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, round the back, slide your hands forward, belly back, tuck the chin in. Inhale, come on up, little back bend, elbows back, look up. Keep going, belly button moves back toward the spine, round the back, tuck the chin in, slide your hands forward. Inhale, elbows back, look up. All again. Inhale, coming up, massaging those discs between the vertebrae, keeping them plump and full, sending new freshly oxygenated blood there. Okay, let's do one more. And a back bend. Good, back to center. So now let's massage the discs with a twist. So hands in prayer. Okay, inhale, palms up, lift your arms up. Okay, now turn to the right, palms down, look over the shoulder. Palms up, inhale, lengthen the spine, come back to center. Let's go the other way. Palms down, exhale, look over the shoulder. Again, palms up, lengthen the spine, come back to center. Palms down, exhale, turn the other way, look over the shoulder. One more, palms up, palms down, look over the shoulder, palms up, come back to center, and hands before the heart. 
So let's go back to the other one and take it deeper if it's right for you. So hands on your thighs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe go deeper. Slide the hands all the way down. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Inhale, come on up, elbows back. Look up, little back bend. Keep going, belly back, tuck the chin in. Inhale, elbows back. Look up, bring your shoulder blades in toward each other. Keep going, forward bend. Back bend. Let's do one more. And a back bend. And back to center. Let's go back to the twists, hands in prayer. Inhale, palms up, lengthen the torso. Palms down, turn to the right. Look over the shoulder. Maybe notice you feel a little more open. Palms up, and if not today, eventually you will. Let's go the other way, palms down, look over the shoulder. Palms up, lengthen the spine, come back to center. Go the other way, palms down. Now, keep your body here, shoulders down. Turn your face forward. Turn your face back for the neck. Turn your face forward. Turn it back again, very functional for pulling out of the driveway. Turn it back, let's do one more, it's forward, it's back, let's release, palms up, lengthen the torso, let's go the other way, palms down, exhale, shoulders are down, keep your body here, turn your face forward, okay, turn it back, forward, and back, let's do two more, nourishing the neck here. One more, forward, back, let's release, palms up, back to center, and hands before the heart. Okay, inhale, stretch from the heart, palms are up. Let's go ahead and lean to the left, side to side. Now lean to the right. Okay, keep your arm shoulder height, side to side, and side to side. Back to center, hands on your thighs. Now moving from your hip joint, let's go in a circle. In a circle, and feel the stretch around the hips, the lower back here. Back is straight. All right, let's reverse that circle, go in the opposite direction. Okay, reverse again. And really feel this in the lower back, the hip area. Okay, the body is meant to move. reverse one last time. And again, just give yourself credit for being here, showing up as half the battle, right? And back to center. Oh, okay, take a relaxing breath here. So let's go to the hips and legs, all right? Let's bring the right leg out to the side and bring it back. Try to keep the ankle under the knee for good alignment out to the side and back. Let's do two more, nourishing the hip and strengthening the leg. One more. Good. Other side. And again, go at your own pace. Okay. And out to the side and back. Let's do two more. One more. Okay, switch legs. Now we can slide it open and close or up to next level, lift up and lift back or slide back, okay? So up to slide or lift. Let's do two more. One more. Other leg. So it's slide or lift. Okay, off to you, slide or lift. Two more. One more. Good, so let's put that all together, all right. So let's bring, switch legs, bring it out to the side, back, same leg, and back. Okay, so let's slide and back. 
up to if you want to lift or not. And back. Okay. So again, slide and back. You can feel it in your quadriceps, right? Your thigh muscles are getting stronger. Okay, one more, definitely feeling it here. And that's a good thing. Okay. And if you get tired, you can always stop, breathe normally, and join in again. Okay. Let's do the other leg. It's fly back. So slide or lift. You don't have to lift. Okay? And if you want to lift the whole time, you can. Out to the side. Back. Let's do two more. And one more. Okay, take a relaxing breath here. All right, this next one, you will need to scoot forward in your chair, coming into hamstring stretch for the lower back. Yeah, let's lift the right leg up, stretch through the heel, press. This is also nice for the knees. Press, press, and press, heel down. Toes toward the knee, tiny little micro bend in the knee, ankle, knee, hip, straight line. Inhale, lengthen the spine, back is straight, fold forward from the hip joint, not the waist. Inhale, come on up for the lower back. Okay, all again. Let's do two more. One more. Oh, okay, and bring that leg back. Other leg, lift, stretch through the heel, press, and press, press, and press. Press, heel down, toes toward the knee, tiny little micro bend in the knee. We never want to lock the joints that stresses them. Ankle, knee, hip, straight line, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Here's the stretch. Again, the hamstrings connect to your femur, upper leg bone, pelvis, and lower back. So we keep this muscle tone. You know, it does help. Okay, let's do two more. One more. Okay, and bring that leg back. So now let's put that all together. Switch legs, it's lift, stretch to the heel, bend, down, out, and in same leg, gets lift, stretch to the heel, bend, down, and you could slide it if you like, out, up to you, okay? Again, lift, stretch to the heel, bend, down, out, and in one more, it's lift, stretch to the heel, bend, down, out, and in. Last set, other side, it's lift, stretch through the heel, bend, down, out, and in again, it's lift, stretch through the heel, bend, down, up to you if you want to lift or slide. Okay, two more, almost done, lift, stretch through the heel, bend, down, out, and in, last one, it's lift, Stretch to the heel, bend, down, out, and good. Take a relaxing breath here. All right, so feet are hip distance apart, ankles under the knees. Let's come onto the back of the toes. Let's do the heel lifts. Lift, both heels lift. And again, this right here helps prevent plantar fasciitis. Lift, in the feet, lift, lift, lift. Lift, and now the toes. Come onto the heels. So it's all 10 toes. Lift, 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 lift. Start tapping. Okay. Now just the right foot out to the side. Bring it back. Okay. All the foot out to the side and bring it back. Okay. So now let's do right heel. Outside. Back of the toes. Inside. Same foot. Heel. Outside, back of the toes, inside one more, heel, outside, back of the toes, inside, other foot, it's heel, outside, back of the toes, inside, same foot, heel, outside, back of the toes, inside one more, heel, outside, back of the toes, inside, right foot, 
heal in a circle. Okay, like we're outlining the periphery of the foot, keep it fluid, heel outside, back of the toes inside, heel outside, back of the toes inside. One more, heel outside, back of the toes inside, all their foot, heel outside, back of the toes inside, heel outside, back of the toes inside. One more, heel outside, back of the toes inside. Okay, so now let's lift the right leg up, stretch through the heel, it's point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Other foot, lift, stretch through the heel, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Other leg, lift, stretch through the heel, point, ankle rotations, just from the ankle joint and reverse. Okay, all their leg lifts, stretch to the heel, going, going in one direction and reverse. Okay, so let's go ahead. We've warmed up now. Let's go into our deeper stretches. Let's go ahead and straddle. Feet are turned out 45 degrees. Hands on your thighs, folding from the hip joint, not the waist. Back is straight. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold from the hip joint. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, fold, inner thigh stretch, hip opener, again. And again, when we stretch the muscles around the hips, it helps the lower back, makes sense, right? It's all connected. Inhale, up, one more. And back to center. Oh, okay, right hand on your right thigh, left palm is up. Here we go, inhale, and now it's reach, we're going deeper. Palm down, exhale, palm up, deep breath, inhale, and it's reach. Palm down, exhale, two more side angle, palm off, partial konasana in Sanskrit. Palm down, or we're going straight to the side. Palm up, it's reach. Palm down, Lord. Good. Other side. Here we go. Palm is up. Inhale and it's reach. Go straight to the side. Palm down, lower. Palm up. Deep breath. Inhale and it's reach. Palm down, lower. Let's do two more. Doing fine. Inhale as we open. Exhale as we close. One more. Palm up. Inhale. And exhale, good. Switch arms, let's go deeper if it's right for you. Inhale and it's reach. Okay, now we can stay here. Spiral the heart to the ceiling. You can look up towards your upper arm. If you get dizzy, just look forward. Little deeper, place your right firm on your right thigh and maybe go deeper, deeper stretch. Okay, up to you, palm down, release, other side. Palm is up, inhale, it's reach. We can stay here, spiral the heart to the ceiling, up to, if you want to go deeper, forearms on the thigh and maybe go deeper, okay? Palm down, release, okay, switch sides. Palm up, inhale, it's reach. You can stay here or next level, turn your torso toward the thigh, reach forward, feel that stretch in your lower back, okay? Torso toward the screen, palm down, release. Other side, palm is up, it's reach. Okay, we can stay here. Next level, turn your torso toward the thigh. Torso toward the screen, palm down, release. Let's do that one more time. Each side, switch arms, palm is up, it's reach. Maybe go deeper, torso toward your thigh. Back toward the screen, palm down, release. Last one, other side. Inhale, it's reach. Okay, maybe torso toward your thigh. Torso toward the screen, palm down, release. Good. Let's bring the legs in and take a relaxing breath here. All right, let's straddle again. So right hand on your right thigh, left palm is up. Inhale, it's reach. Palm down, arm is shoulder height, fold from the hip joint, back is straight. Sweep the arm across, bend your elbow, bring it back and press the palm down. Other side, palm is up, it's reach. Palm down, arm is shoulder height, sweep it across. Bend your elbow, bring it back 
Press the palm down one more time, each side. Palm is up, it's reach. Palm down, arm is shoulder height, sweep it across. Bend your elbow, bring it back. Press the palm down, last one, other side. Palm is up, it's reach. Palm down, arm is shoulder height, sweep it across. Bend your elbow, bring it back, and press the palm down. Good, let's bring the legs in and take a relaxing breath here. Okay, talk about the benefits of um, aerobic exercise. So let's get the cardio going a little more here with this next sequence. Here we go. Hands in prayer. Inhale, palms up, palms together, back bend. Inch forward from the hip joint, back is straight, arms in goal post position. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, sweep the arms down, palms up, palms together, back bend. Again, hinge forward, back is straight, arms in goal post position. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, sweep the arms down, palms up, palms together, back bend. One more, hinge forward, back is straight, arms in goal post position. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, sweep the arms down, palms up, palms together, back bend. Arms out to the side and hands in prayer twist variation. Inhale, palms up, palms together, back bend. Turn to the right, elbows outside the leg, forms in a straight line, look over the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, turn the other way. Look over the shoulder. Come back to center. Let's leave it there. Arms out to the side and hands in prayer. Let's put those two together. Inhale, palms up. Palms together, back bend, hinge forward from the hip joint, back is straight, arms in goal post position. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, sweep the arms down, palms together, back bend, turn to the right, elbows outside of the leg, look over the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the spine, let's go the other way. Exhale, fold, look over the shoulder, back to center, let's leave it there. Arms out to the side and hands in prayer. Okay. And take a relaxing breath here. So that'll get the heart moving a little more. Okay, let's come into our wrist circles for the wrist. Okay, so going in one direction. Opposite direction, just trying to get all the joints in. Okay, open up the fingers, reverse it. Okay, and reverse again. Okay, fingers up, fingers down, angles opening, angles closing. This is extension, this is flexion. Fingers up, let's bring the arms back, 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 back again. And back, 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 back. One more, back back, back, back. Good, shake your arms out. All right, this next one, just go ahead and bend your elbows. Let's have the palms up and now palms down, okay? Palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. Okay, hands in prayer. Be a little gentle with this one, never forcing, nice and easy. The body will open, just be patient, okay? Never forcing. Comfortable discomfort, no pain. Nice and easy here. Okay. And maybe notice, you know, that you're starting to be a little more open. One more. Good. Let's interlace. Inhale if the arms up. Exhale, lean to the left, lean to the right. Thumbs forward, palms to the side, and press, press. Press, arms back, palms face each other. Inhale, lift the arms up. Thumbs forward, palms to the side. And so when you stop here, okay, your wrists are above your elbows, okay? And your palms face the sides of the room. Okay, and press, 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 press. One more, inhale up. Thumbs forward, palms to the side. And press, press, press. Great for posture, good. Shake your arms out. Palms back, shoulders up, back and down. 
Okay, so let's see, what do we want to do? A little bit for the hands. So let's go ahead and um, lift the fingers up. Let's go ahead and spread the fingers wide and then bring them in, spread them wide, bring them in, spread them wide, bring them in, spread them wide, bring them in. Okay, now let's make a fist, okay? And spread them wide and maybe take turns putting the thumbs inside and outside of the fist. Okay, spread them wide, in, wide, and maybe out, wide, and shake your arms out. A little bit more for the fingers. Okay, so palms face each other. It's curl, curl, flat table, fingertips to the base of the palms, curl the fingers up. Okay, again, curl, Curl, flat table, fingertips to the base of the palms, curl the fingers up. One more, curl, curl, flat table, fingertips to the base of the palm and curl the fingers up. Good, shake your arms out, hands in prayer. Okay, let's spread the fingers apart, keep the ball mops touching, that's the fleshy part under the fingers. Let's bring the back of the little fingers together. Then the whole back of the ring fingers together, the whole back of the middle fingers. Index thumb interlace round the back. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, lean to the left, lean to the right. Thumbs forward, palms to the side and press, press, press. Shake your arms out. Let's go ahead and uh, do the little reflexology here. So take your thumb and just in a, you know, very comfortably little circles at the center of your palm. Okay, nice, easy pressure. Again, this is like a switchboard to the nervous system. Okay, and then start at the base of the little finger and massage to the tip. So this helps to increase circulation here. And again, you know, um, we're doing this for the hands, but of course it benefits the whole body. Okay, and then the other hand whenever you're ready. Little circles, nice, easy pressure. Stir at the base of the little finger, work to the tip, and just do each finger. And the thumb. Okay, so from here, uh, before we uh, come into the pranayama and meditation, let's go ahead and place one hand on the shoulder, the healing power of touch, massage your upper arm, the inside, the top of the forearm the inside, the top of the hand, the palm, okay, all their arm. Okay, and the top of the hand and the palm. Oh, it's just very soothing. Now let's come into our Pranayama breath control. Back showed no alternate nostril breathing. So follow along as best as you can. If you get lost, just stop, breathe normally, and join in again when you can. This purifies and calms the nervous system. So we take the right thumb. I like to close my eyes here up to you. We close the right nostril and slowly breathe in through the left. Hold the breath, use your ring finger or index finger, close the left, breathe out through the right. Pause. Breathe in through the right. Hold the breath, close the right. Breathe out through the left. Pause, breathe in through the left. Hold the breath, close the left. Breathe out through the right. Pause, breathe in through the right. Hold the breath, close the right, breathe out through the left. Pause, breathe in through the left. Hold the breath, close the left, breathe out through the right. Relax your arm down, breathe normally. Just observe how you feel. Okay. 
It's a nice segue into meditation. So again, whichever mudra you prefer, left hand on top of right, thumbs up, thumbs touching. I just find they're comfortable. If you're comfortable with it, eyes closed, spine is lifted, chin is parallel with the floor. Just keep it simple. Don't try to get anywhere. Just let yourself be. Keep the focus on the in and the out breath. As soon as we notice we're thinking, just release that thought and gently bring the awareness back to the breath. If you like, we can silently affirm on the in-breath, my mind is peaceful. And on the out-breath, my body is relaxed. More breaths here. Now begin to deepen your breathing. Time to move the body a little bit, if you like. Just get the circulation moving a little more. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Again, the best way to start the day is with gratitude. The best way to end is with thanks. One more breath. And we close by bringing our hands to prayer and saying Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.